an actual countdown. Give me, give me five. All right, we're ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to Stream the Meebs. This is uh, Sven. I'm here with Sergito and Georgia, and we are really excited to talk to you this week. We have a great episode coming up. I don't know what week of Stream the Meebs this is, but in, in Meeb land, it's always a good time. Um, <laughs> Serge, how are you feeling today? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm excited to get into you know some of the news that we have for for the family today. Um, you know, obviously get into the art, both the card we dropped this week, plus the art that's coming up. Always, the, I think my favorite part, and then you know, kind of like the bloopers too. I I, I think I'm gonna be a little self conscious during this recording because Georgia always sends a way to like find funny clips of us uh, doing stupid things, um, and I'm actually. <laughs> Quite looking forward to seeing what comes out of this week. Uh, Georgia, how are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, honestly, my highlight each week is when I get to edit these videos and put it all together and then embarrass you guys. So you're welcome. But yeah, I am really excited for this episode as well. We got, you know, some big things happening, some changes uh, with the upcoming cards. So let's get into it. Um, yeah, so, yeah. We, got you with, we got you with some good internet this week, too, so we can get some yeah. your bloopers. There you go. <laughs> the weather's calm, guys. There's no storms in the Caribbean today. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so to get started, let's talk about Zenosa's card, I Want to Seize the Meebs. This is Season 2, card 27. Yeah, I mean, I'll jump right into this one, right? Uh, again, I think every week we, we share the same feeling of like every card's been awesome. Um, I'll tell you why I love this one. Well, first and foremost, you know, Hootie Punk, obviously very special place amongst the lore and the NFT space and obviously within the punk community. Um, and it's a special hoodie. Uh, people will confuse him maybe with these. This is actually Brainy's Punk. Um, he's a great dev. He's also a pillar of the punk community. Um, I love that this card takes us almost back to the beginning, you know, the roots of CZ memes being inspired by the 6529 meme collection. This is obviously a play on that card with 6529's Punk, where, you know, he's got, you know, the mouth is not there, but he's got his number and, and the message is, you know, go and see the memes. So in this case, Zenosa did a great job at taking that, applying First of all, his incredible palette, which is green, and guy owns green. Um, adding some glitch, and then adding, you know, the 3D hoodie punk with the zig. I think it just brings it all together. It's a fun card. It's a card that I think plays really well, both for you know season two of the punks, but also taking us back to the beginning with you know some of the re memes uh, from 6529's collection. Sven, what did you think about it? Like I, I said it last week, I, I think more than anything, it's just he, he has a way with colors. Um, and this card is just going to pop. Uh, it did pop, um, you know, when people saw it. And I think, you know, it's the type of thing where it's because it's based on a very highly recognizable 6529 meme. It's the type of card, like a few of others that we've had, Nakamipto being the, the most obvious one, where when you see it, you're gonna to think to yourself, I've seen this before. And it, it resonates with you. And, and and I think the use of colors, especially that green that's in there, it just kinda, it, it just sits with you in, in a really nice way. Um, and so I think this is one of those cards that, you know, people think about our collection long-term and think about the season two collection. This is gonna be one of the first ones that, you know, if I have to imagine people will think of like, oh yeah, that's in that, that's that's a season two Seize, seize the Meebs card. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I think that, is really cool, um, you know, because just to think in the future, uh, our collectors will, will think of this one, you know, probably pretty early when they go through the cards. Georgia, your Definitely. thoughts on the card? Yeah, I love it. Um, you know, I say this often. One thing I really love about STM cards is the versatility, and it's awesome to see this really bright, vibrant green coming into the mix. Um, you know, when you kind of have it up next to the rest of the cards that we've come out with this season, it, you know, it has its own personality, its own character, and it's really, really cool. I also love that there is, you know, kind of like Easter eggs as you're looking through, like all the graffiti in the background and reading it. I spent a good chunk of time today going through trying to catch everything. But yeah, great card. The feedback from the community was great. So really excited about it. 
you know, I, I, I'd love to know what people would think of the card if, and what we would think of the card if the six foxy nine meme didn't exist, right? Like, yeah. it, it, it's easy because it is recognizable, um, but it's just good art, like, regardless of that. Obviously, you know, like the hoodie, a hoodie punk is, is an easy template to, to start with, but okay, even ignoring that, it's just, it's just really well put together. And so I love that the card is just strong on its own, but then you have the hoodie punk, you have the 6529 meme, and it's like, that's a pretty strong trifecta right there, um, you know, to just deliver a high quality meme card. Um, so, you know, we're gonna sound like broken records uh, by the end of the season, we're saying, you know, we love these cards, but uh, <laughs> so far, nobody's disappointed us. <laughs> it's, it's a nice feeling. So it's been another awesome week in the FCM community, especially in the Telegram. Uh, like we just said, the feedback was really great for the card. Um, everyone's really excited. And, you know, since last week's episode where we mentioned that it looks like we're going back to two cards a week, there we had a couple questions about that. So I think now is probably the perfect time to kind of elaborate. Sven, Sergio, if you do it. <laughs> Well, by the time you're all watching this, uh, the news will be out, right? We're back to two cards a week. Um, it's exciting. And, you know, look, when, when Seize the Meeps launched, the goal was to deliver really high quality, at the time, just Meebit. Now it's Meebit and Punk inspired Meep art, or meme art, sorry. Um, blooper. Um, <laughs> and so. You know, we hit we hit pause. Uh, I think I think Serge, you you explained on prior weeks why we slowed things down, um, but we feel pretty good about the market now, and we know people want to see more art, and so we're we're ready to go with two cards a week. I, I don't know, Serge, how do how do you feel about moving to two cards a week? Yeah, I I missed it. I missed the you know the excitement of kind of just you know it's like the dopamine almost of seeing really cool art coming up, and for us to just get to talk about the artist and just I, I feel like one card a week was really good during you know the market condition that we were experiencing uh, but but like even the community said it's great because it puts us back to you know really getting engaged again and making sure it's not just you know one point in time that you mint and then you kind of like look another direction and so uh, people are excited to be seeing two new cards a week I'm excited the artists are excited I think that it's just really positive to kind of like keep that cadence going. Um, also, you know, for, for our season pass holders, right? Like if, if I was a pass holder, I was like, hey, uh, I kind of like signed up for two a week, you know, where, where's my art? And so happy that we're able to get back to that and deliver um, as, as, as people are used to. And so you know, per usual, we you love all the feedback and I'm sure there's gonna be, you know, not so positive feedback on some of the moves we make, but I think this is the right the right time to go back to you know what you all um, signed up for, which was two badass Mebit and Punk theme uh, meme cards, and so yeah, I'm excited. Besides, you know, we're going back to this two cards a week with an absolute bang. Uh, it's just so fire. Uh, the art for for this week. I mean, you've already seen it. This video is out after we've released the art. Um, we we we've learned a lot right over the last month over the last season and change um and so as we go into two cards a week now we're gonna we're gonna bring a lot of these these learnings with us right these longer mint periods it'll just be ongoing i think you know search you said one thing just the right cadence i think people are gonna find just like there's gonna be constant stm activity constant stm art constant news um constant bloopers that george is gonna find so great content all around and most importantly, just great art. And so, sir, as you said, two absolute bangers. We got Gurnch going on Monday, and I'm super excited about this. We also have Walea's Way going on Thursday. Honestly, I'm even more excited that we could line up two amazing artists like this back to back who both knocked it out of the park. So. I think Gurn's going first. Let's get into that. This piece, Serge, I know when you saw the first preview, uh, you, you you felt a certain way about it. How, how do you feel about Gurn's piece? Well, let me just say, Billy is somebody that um, kind of saw his career develop, you know, through our nifty days. 
and then all the work that he's done, uh, his animation, especially, I mean, he's a car lover, I'm a car lover, um, it's usually, uh, you know, spends a lot of time in the NES Graphics Discord, and it's part of, like, that crew, so just, I'm a big fan of his art, um, you know, to be honest, a lot of the, uh, you know, some of the artists that we have at CCMEVs, up through our curation period and everything that we've done, we get to know them through that process, and it's been really rewarding. But to bring somebody like like Billy, uh, who we've known for two years, and have him join the STM artist family is just like a very special thing. Uh, just kind of like from like even like the emotional side. But then you look at this piece, and I mean it's 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 full of Easter eggs. It's it's got you know suited elephant. It's got a visitor meme. Uh, shout out to Barat Cremo for letting us use his visitor meme again. Um, and then the scene, it, it's mysterious. You can build a bunch of stories around it. It really is one of those things where, you know, this could be a movie scene. Um, and, and it's dark and we've had a lot of color recently. So I also kind of like that. And you look at the body of work of every STM card. Each one has its like unique space. And this one fits right there in that mosaic um, of, you know, our collection. So highly talented artist, somebody that we grew up with in our NFT life. Um, Easter eggs, what's not to like? No, I mean, I could not have said it better. Uh, you know, Billy's a friend. Uh, it's always just great catching up with him at you know, different NFT events and really do feel like we've come up uh, together in, in a sense on our NFT journeys. Um, you know, when we first started talking about this, uh, there were so many different directions. Like we've, we've talked about this before, you know, how we go through this process with different artists. You know, with, with someone, when you, when you know them that well and you go through, like we know his skill set, and it is extremely diverse. He could have done so many different types of cards. And ultimately I said, look, I don't want to guide you because I know whatever you want to do is going to be great. Like here are the assets, run with it. And when he came back with this, I was like, I couldn't have thought this up, but it couldn't have turned out better either. And when you said it, it feels like a scene out of a movie, it, it is, it's cinematic. And you know, mm -hmm. when you can capture that cinematic feel, despite it being a still image, um, there's so much story in that image. Um, you know, the old cliche, a picture's worth a thousand words. Like, and that's not just because there's a thousand words of, of Easter eggs on, on, on the graffiti and some of the imagery on the walls, um, but, but there's just such a powerful story coming through. And, you know, I, I hope that everyone kind of chooses their own story of what, of what the card actually, you know, s says to them. So, um, you know, I, I'm a big fan, Sergio, you know you're a fan, Georgia. I know you're a fan. You don't go as far back with Billy as we do, but uh, uh, what were your kind of initial impressions of the card? Yeah, no, it's, you know, it honestly leaves me speechless. I remember the first time we saw it, I was like, wow, that was really all I had to say. And as it progressed, I mean, it was quite a few weeks ago, I think, the, when we first got uh, the first draft, I suppose, of the of the card. And every time he came back with something, like the next version of it, I was just, you know, blown away with the detail, the intricacy. And again, I am a sucker for Easter eggs. You know, I like them a lot. <laughs> so I love that, you know, I could just spend, you know, honestly hours just looking at it and finding something new and, you know, just how it ties into previous STM art and, you know, all of the assets we have available to us. So really cool. Yeah. And definitely cinematic is the perfect way to describe it. It makes you feel something really intense when you look at it so great card i'm really really excited about this one i want to hear what your story of the scene is georgia are we keeping it pg-13 or you, <laughs> i you, think we're all like, you can do whatever you want to do <laughs> i don't know i'm kind of getting you know back alley you know i think serge you were actually the first person to say it. you could like uh, the vibe you got and i was like that is it it looks like you know a little bit of a deal going on a little side hustle i don't know but i like it it's you know it's the, the only <laughs> deal they're making they are trading nfts in that back alley exactly. okay and Pokemon and cards. and with that with that that is a perfect segue to our next card. We have Walea going. I mean, talk about such a cool pair. Like you have mm -hmm. all seen these cards. We've shown them side by side, and the contrast between the two could not be better, in my opinion. Such a diverse set of cards for this week, but both just 
equally, in my opinion, well done. Um, let's talk about the card first, and then I want to talk a bit about how this card came to be. But what you know, Serge, what's your first reaction to Alea's card? My first reaction was, oh my god, it's art that I've never seen. Like I've not seen this style of art maybe since I last opened a comic book a while back. And even comic book style, like the lines are comic book style, but not the whole scene. So I couldn't just place it somewhere, which I love. Again, you know, we're, what, 27 cards into Seize the Meeps. It's amazing that we're still finding very unique styles, very unique techniques, very unique palettes, very unique ways of looking at the world um, and at Meeps and at punks. So when I saw it, I was like, damn, like this is so interesting. And then, again, just like Georgia says, you know, you start looking at all the corners, everything's in it, you start seeing the little punks, obviously you see the Mebits in the boxes, uh, you know, again, we get the, the Visitor, which, I, you know, this is an Easter egg, the Visitor, SDM, <laughs> just keep that in mind, top of your head, um, but, you know, it's like coffee, we've obviously had the partnership with Boring Brew, and, and, and you bring it all together, you're like, wow, like we did it again. I mean, we didn't do much on the curated, but seize the meeps, seize the meeps, did it again. Where it's like you know you can have, if you have I don't know, a digital frame and you load up every single seize the meeps card, you can rotate through them, and you don't see two things you know at the same time. And 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 that I think is awesome, and it's something that we sought out to do. And, and I love that this is just so different. And and at the end, it's so beautiful. It's like. It's very peaceful. It makes me think of like a Sunday mm -hmm. morning when I uh, when I was in finance. I studied for the CFA, and I would go to this coffee house by NYU, and I would just like study the whole day on weekends. And you'll see like the sun come in, and and I don't know. It just it just brings you back to that warm place um, where you're just kind of like enjoying your coffee and just being grateful for life. So I'm I'm grateful for this piece of work. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm grateful that Walea uh, not only agreed to do the card. Um, but just came, like you said, came up with something that I don't think either of us were expecting. Um, and, and that, like I, it takes a lot to kind of surprise us. Uh, I think, you know, when you've been around NFTs for a couple of years, you, you feel like you've seen it all. Um, but totally agree that, you know, it, 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 it was something I didn't expect and was so happy to see. Um, and that's the beauty of just letting an artist kind of do their thing. You know, we, we give notes, we, we, we you know, talk through things and then they still come out and just, just do something that, you know, we, we're not artists. We, we couldn't have envisioned this. Um, and so that's so great. I'm also grateful that we even got to make the connection in the first place. Um, you know, we, uh, we were very uh, fortunate to be uh, connected with Leia during NFT NYC by another STM artist, uh, no Alonzo, uh, who did one of, I think our most popular cards um in season one and you know when we started talking it was just we were having actually we were having a great day out at the frying pan <laughs> just having a drink and just talking about kind of our passions in web3 and you know we weren't as familiar with with her work but when we saw her like oh my god you are so talented like would you be interested you know notice to the car would you be interested in doing one too um and it's just one of those you know beautiful uh you know, serendipitous moments where we all just got excited about doing something together. And, and you know, I, I hope uh, that it's, you know, that excitement comes through in the card uh, because I think, I think it's that type of energy that you need uh, to really make this type of art. Yeah, and shout out to uh, Cardinal who was also there that day and we had just seen our Sonic. So it was good to see like the STM artist family and uh, have them all together. So looking forward to whatever IRL event we do next. But yeah, little side yeah. side tangent. Georgia, what was your what was uh, your reaction to to this card? Um, that's uh, any Easter egg did you find? Uh, I mean, I still have to keep looking because again, every time I look at it, there's something new. But there's yeah, so much going on. I really love the you know description you just gave, Serge, because when I first looked at it, I got the exact same feeling like that really light, bright, you know, early summer kind of warm day, and it that really warm feeling that it gives it's it's awesome and her art style is incredible it's so detailed and intricate and 
It's it's funny. I had looked at uh, some of her other work and and even kind of comparing it to this. It's still really unique to what she, you know she's come up with before. But I almost feel like I see it as if I'm in a dream. If that makes sense, like it's how I visualize things when I'm dreaming, and I really like that how that makes me feel. And yeah, it's an awesome piece of work. I love the colors, the yellow, the warmth, um, and yes, obviously, gotta love those Easter eggs. <laughs> Well, I hope that everyone feels the same about these cards, but even more than that, we talked about moving to two cards a week again. Now let's talk about the little wrinkle that we know you all were asking about. As we go to two cards a week, we're really excited about this. We mentioned we're going to have a little fun mechanic uh, that we, we think the community will enjoy. For those of you that meant both of this week's cards, so both Gurdjieff's card and Malaya's card, you will receive the first card that we release next week airdrop direct to you. And that will be the only way, the only way to receive that in card. So uh, look, uh, this is our way of, of having some fun, saying thank you to, to our supporters. Um, and it's something we're excited about. I don't, I don't know, Serge, what do you, what, what, what are you feeling about, uh, you know, with this little wrinkle? No, I love it. I think, you know, one of the things we did very well in season one was kind of, you know, play with the different mechanics around the NACA set cards. Um, I think this is a really good way of rewarding people that continue to remain engaged with the community, right? Always our idea was, hey, you know, we are giving our best here. We're, you know, curating great artists, putting out great art. Um, and we're giving you priority. We're like making sure, you know, obviously we have the Mebit giveaway. We have two Mebits to give away at end of season one. There's more stuff in the treasury there that, you know, expectations for the end of this season are high and, and we want to meet them. But at the same time along the way, you know, we want to be super mindful of, of growing this active community. And so we want people to, you know, let us know what they're thinking. And obviously, you know, minting uh, cards um, we appreciate you doing that. So we want to reward that, you know, we want to reward your participation with that airdrop. Um, so, you know, beforehand, thanks to everybody that we mint in the card. Um, we were pretty excited and, and, you know, we look forward to see your reaction to that card as well. Uh, but that's obviously coming uh, next week. Let's just focus on this week's cards for, um, for today. Yeah, look, this is... Um... We appreciate that everyone kind of gives us a little bit of leeway as we experiment with different mechanics. And I do think we did a really fun uh, job towards the end of season one. I'm really excited about doing this because I think it's a great reward to our collectors. Um, for those that do decide to go out and mint uh, this card, you know, you mint two, you'll get your third card. And so we think this is a great reward. We also think it's a bit of fun. Um, and so we hope everyone's excited about it. We're actually really excited about the possibility of what we can do if we know, okay, who's engaged still, who, who wants to remain active, because then the mechanics we can do moving forward. Look, this is a bit of fun. It's a bit of challenge to our community to show us that you know you want to remain engaged. Um, and look, we welcome the feedback. We don't shy away from that here at STM. Uh, so um, yeah, this will, this will be a bit of fun. I know it's been a very, very exciting episode, as you promised at the top of the hours, Ben. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. You know, just to close out the show, I really want to address you know, some of the stuff we've been seeing in, in the Web3 space. I, I made a tweet also earlier in the week about, you know, it's kind of disgusting seeing, you know, a lot of the things that are happening. And, and it's, it's unfortunately for those of you that are new to crypto, it's, it's kind of like a bottom indicator or like just, you know, prolonged bear market people turn to. It's really just nefarious tactics and, and the morale drops. Um, I, a couple of things. First and foremost, you know, obviously the rugs and the scams. Uh, you know, be smart, be alert. I think we have a really good community in the Telegram, always looking out for each other. If you have any questions, if you have you know, anything that you're looking at, any opportunities you're gauging, we have some very, very, very good members that are on top of a lot of different things. And uh, you know, feel free to come in and ask, like, hey guys, I'm looking at this, I'm looking at that, what do you think of this, what do you think of that? Um, and if anything, we all just, you know, we will all get rocked together. <laughs> it's a lot easier when we're doing it together. No, but, but in all seriousness, right? Like it's, 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 it's important to, to kind of just be mindful that, yeah, there's a lot of bad players out there. Um, and, and, you know, like don't let that get you down. I think what's being built here in Web3 and you see it through, you know, the artists and the STM family, um, you know, how much 
they've been able to accomplish through their Web3 and NFT careers and a lot of the collectors as well. So you're definitely building here something bigger than all of us combined. There will be bad apples. There's a place that's rife with speculation and gambling. But, you know, this is your fam. Come in. Let's talk it out. Let's have fun. Let's help each other. Let's help educate each other. Let's learn from each other. Um, and, and also, like, you know, if there's something that, you know, is really meaningful to you, you know, for example, obviously, you know, the cancer rug with the pixel penguins is such a shame. Um, uh, we actually got really bad, we sad news from the STM fam, cancer related, so Cyber H, our artist for Meebloom to Transact, he actually got diagnosed with cancer. Um, and and it, it's, it sucks to, to get those news and then on top of that see, you know, that rock happen pretty much in real time where people are so wanting to help each other and they're so wanting to, to be positive. Um, and I think the best way is to just to collaborate and, and, and to be part of the community, be active. You don't have to, you're already part of the fam. You don't have to mint every card, you, you know, just be there interact with us, interact with everybody else. I think that's how we, you know, we stick together and we get through this rough time in Web3, regardless of floor prices or anything like that. I think it's important to remember that there's humans behind those, you know, avatars and the Telegram accounts and the Discord accounts. Um, and we're here for you guys. So, you know, if anybody, you know, needs anything, feel free to reach out. I think people will be more than willing to, to help out. No, that was, that was beautifully said. You know, the only thing I'll add to that because it's very easy um, to feel discouraged when things are slow, when the market's rough. Um, you know, look, we, we, we understand people take financial hits and, and, and it, that alone gets you down. But then all you see is a lot of negativity, um, you know, on the timeline. And look, Twitter can be a dark place. Um, I, I am confident, though, despite how it feels, there are more good people, good actors, bringing positivity into Web3 than there are scammers. It's just the scammers and the people making noise on Twitter are the ones that you see. And you gotta keep that in mind. There's so many good people out there, so many good people that I know I've met. Um, so many, so many, it's artists, collectors, you know, builders, um, really, really, really a great community in the broader Web3, obviously we know a great community. Uh, here at STM um, that we're very happy with. But focus on that, like focus on the positivity that's out there. Don't don't interpret the, 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 the clutter that you see on the timeline as being the reality that we're in. Yeah, I would say just to close it up, from my side at least, uh, the best way to participate in Web3 is to educate yourself. And for me, my experience through you know my professional career, and even when I was a college student, the best way I learned was by teaching others. So I will like want to go and learn new concepts, and then you know help people with homework or teach it in like student organizations. Feel free to do that. It really helped me. Um, again, you have the the Telegram group. You know, if if you see negative content on Twitter, put out your positive content, or like go out and learn something and put a tweet about it. I think that's a, it's a way to stay positive. Also, so you know, you know, the STM team, we're really working behind the scenes to, to build on that, on the education side, on just expanding this universe. So, you know, things take time. Um, and I'm not talking about floor prices per se, but I'm talking about you, know, you being a proud STM community member um, and being part of something bigger, better, stronger. Um, so thank you all for your support when it comes to that. Georgia, what's your take? You know, you obviously came into to Web3 um, a little bit later than, than you know, Sven and I, but it's been, it's been a whirlwind time on, on Twitter and you know, you being on top of all our socials and everything else. What has been your takeaways and, and how are you dealing with it? Well, to start, I'm grateful I have you two, <laughs> you know, guiding me through it. Um, and yeah, I am extremely fortunate that not only do I have you guys, but the STM community is just awesome with that, you know, educating each other and helping each other out. And it, that family feeling, you can really sense it in the chat, um, even with all the meme coin madness that went on, you know, the communication that was happening was amazing. I loved seeing that and people were uplifting each other and they wanted to bring each other in on all the good stuff. So more of that is great. So let's keep doing it. Um, you know, in terms of the 
the scary bad stuff it's it's interesting to see and you know i think no matter the industry it's even if you just watch you know the news that typically it's the stuff that is bad that gets all the publicity so it's you know it's a shame that there's a lot of it right now but i think you know confidently i can say it doesn't deter me because i like so many other people you guys included i see so much potential in web3 and even just in what we're doing and that alone is enough to keep going and keep getting bigger and stronger so yeah it's been an interesting learning ex <laughs> learning curve <laughs> awesome well i think that's the perfect place to finish this week's episode um, you know, it's been an awesome conversation, recapping Zenosa's card and then talking about going back to two cards a week and then the amazing cards that we have for you all. And then obviously already the news that, you know, mentors this week and by default, pass holders who will receive those two cards will have a airdrop the following week. So hopefully, you know, everybody's excited to get back to two a week. Um, we are here for you guys. Uh, we'll continue to, you know, build behind the scenes, take your feedback. Please, you know, keep communicating. We're loving the communication on the Telegram. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sven, Georgia, what else can we uh, send the family off with today? Uh, all I'll say is um, enjoy your weeks, and uh, we look forward to seeing you all in the Telegram. Same. <laughs> well thank said, you, Georgia. Everyone. Well, yeah, well said. Thank you. <laughs> Woman of many words. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, peace out, everybody.